All right, of all of the lessons that I've ever created in my life, this is way up there. This is one of those things that took me hours and hours and hours and hours and hours and hours and hours to figure out for your enjoyment. Now, kiddos, let me show you how this is going to work today. Now, this is called the Silk Roads Choose Your Own Adventure. Now, the first and most important thing that y'all need to do is click present. Unless you click present, it ain't going to work. Now, welcome to the Silk Roads Choose Your Own Adventure. You see right here where there's this little blue link that says begin my journey. And you see that when I go away from that, my cursor turns into an arrow. But when I go onto it, my cursor turns into a Mickey Mouse glove. You need to remember you need to have the Mickey Mouse glove and then click. Now, to begin your journey, you get to choose your traveler. You are allowed to choose whichever traveler you would like. You can choose from a Japanese fisherman from Kyushu. You can choose from a Byzantine missionary from Constantinople, an Iranian artisan from Khotan, a Chinese merchant from Dunhuang, a silk dealer from Korea, or a Sogdian soldier from Samarkand. That's tongue twister. Now, for the sake of example, let's choose the Japanese fisherman from Kyushu. So, you come up here, remember Mickey Mouse glove, you click, and you get a little bit of background about your hero. Japanese fisherman from Kyushu. You are a fisherman from Kyushu, the southernmost island in the Japanese islands. Due to your location, you most likely trade with merchants from Korea and China. Who do you want to trade with today? Okay, you are then given your first option. Would you like to trade with the three kingdoms of Korea or nobody? I want to try and survive alone. Now remember, this truly is an adventure. So let me illustrate what happens if you mess up. Ooh, poor decision. Unfortunately for you, Japan is an island. Therefore, it is extremely limited resources and society would struggle to produce the necessities of life. Therefore, if you want to be successful, you need to trade with China and East Asia. While you attempt to rely on your own goods, you soon ran out of resources. Now here's the good news. If you make a poor decision at any point during your adventure, you can always go back to head back and make a decision to try again. You go back here and say, okay, let's do, uh, yay, correct decision. Now you are introduced to your first location called the Three Kingdoms of Korea. Now, it will start off by showing you on a map where you are headed. And then right down here, you see it says more about the Three Kingdoms of Korea. I have the Mickey Mouse glove and I click. Now, this is where you record your information. You have two things here that are vitally important. First off, it's going to tell you the main trade items. Iron, gold, and horses. On your world history notebook, located on page number 13, this is where you are going to fill out your information. This morning, we already set it up. Underneath, where it says Korea, you are going to write down iron, gold, and horses. And then it says religions, Buddhism, and Confucianism. Now, you once again, once you have written down this information here, go down to make a decision. And then you are presented with a decision. Okay, what do you want to do? You want to move on and trade with Dunhuang in Western China, or would you like to try to attack the three kingdoms of Korea? Uh, let's go attack. Ooh, poor decision. Now, your job today is simply to make your way all the way across Eurasia, Europe, and Asia, and record all the information on all six of your locations. You need Japan, you need Korea, you need Western China, you need Khotan, you need Uzbekistan, and you need Eastern Europe. But kids, ultimately have fun. If you ever get really stuck, you can go down and click this link that says, oops, I want to go back home and it'll take you back to your choose your traveler. That will allow you to start back from scratch. But like I said, kiddos, enjoy. Click some of these links, see what happens. Make a bad decision every once in a while. <coughs> I think kiddos, you will have a blast with this thing. Enjoy and kids, I will see you back here soon.